Good morning, caller. This is Patriots Lament. You're on the air. Hello? Hello, who's this? Hi, my name is Cheryl. Cheryl, what's on your mind today? Uh, having a garage sale at 215 Bridget. Okay, well, good luck with that. 458 Talk right is the number. Good morning, caller. Who's this? Hello. Hey, who's this? Hey, this is Claudio. Claudio, what's on your mind? Hey, Steve, I just want to say that, uh, you know, liberty is, uh, is a package. You can choose, pick and choose, uh, you know, religious freedom and then uh, freedom of individual to choose to destroy his life or not. And uh, that's, uh, you know, God gave us a uh, free will. And you do that free will, what you want, the good or the bad. And other point is, you know, Ron Powell is far the best candidate out there with a track record to show and prove. Absolutely. Yeah, no doubt about you know, it. I, I like what you said, Claudio, that liberty is a package. You can't pick and choose. You can't say, no, well, you can have religious freedom, but you can't have the freedom to destroy yourself. But we uh, don't need God anymore, Steve, because the state decides what's moral and what's not. state has become God. Would you agree? Yeah. With, would you agree with that statement, Claudio? Yes, I do. I do. And uh, another question I have: uh, I, I don't know the, the history on this, but why is uh, hemp illegal to get with marijuana? Because one had not to do with the other one. I think it's a big. Uh, basically, it's politics. It sounds good. You have people who don't know anything about it that uh, are afraid of it. And uh, basically, one of the biggest problems we have is that. Are religious people, and I'm very religious. And but the problem is, we have religious people wanting to invoke their religion on other people and invoke their beliefs, invoke what uh, their morality on people. And I mean, we have people. I hear people call Steve show all the time, saying, "Well, if they're not following this or that, then they're evil and they're going to go to hell, and they shouldn't be allowed." That's the key point. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be allowed to do this and that or whatnot. You know, it, it's very possible that they may be going to hell for for smoking pot. I don't happen to believe so, but I, you know what, I, I don't know. I generally speaking, I think there's something else involved that, that has somebody whether they're purchased a ticket to hell or not. The thing that kills me, though, is like what you're saying. Should they be allowed to choose their own behaviors? Claudia, what do you think? Oh, I think. Um, yeah, uh, yeah uh, the thing is, uh, like I was saying, the, like hemp is, and that's, is not a drug. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's industrial material. Why Why they, they you know, you, you guys know why they, they ban that together with marijuana? Because they just kind of look alike. For the same family, but one you can't get high on it. For the and same the reason that machine guns stuff. have been banned, they machine guns can't kill people any faster than a semi-automatic can, or a bolt-action rifle, or a rock, or a knife. It's all the boogeyman thing. When they get to have these laws and they get the people to back them up, and it's just a little bit at a time. You start with the scary stuff. And you get all the conservatives. I mean, we already know what liberals think. But you get the conservatives in there saying, oh, well, you know, we better go along with this. Because even though it might be someone's liberty, it might be taking it away, we can justify it with our morality and say that they can't do that. Then they take another step. Then they take another step and incrementally destroy us while we dance to the Pied Piper. That's right. Thanks, Claudio, for the uh, the phone call. Four five eight talk is the number. Good morning, caller. Who's this? Charles. Charles, what's on your mind today? General Smedley Butler. That's a real name. Uh, he was our Orwell before the book 1984. He wrote a book called War Is a Racket. And, <laughs> yeah. and everyone in the world should read this book, and uh, we'd know what's going on where the money went, what they're doing. And uh, the thing is, if we bring all the soldiers back to the United States, all the U.S. soldiers back to the United States, we would have a war here over jobs and money and whatnot and uh, what to do with the, with the military that doesn't have anything to do. Well, I think that uh, if they come back, for one, our debt would go down quite a bit because we wouldn't be policing the world and spending trillions of dollars and billions, whatever the number is, having to be all over the United, over the world policing it. But if we brought all those guys back, there could be jobs if the government, again, the government's always the problem. If the government would get out of free enterprise, quit sending our jobs overseas, allow us to have industry right here instead of deciding what and we will 
what our job market will be, what our people will have for jobs, then we could bring them all back and they would have jobs. We could build cars, we could build computers, we could build TVs, we could build clothes, we could do lots of things here if we'd quit sending them overseas. China has the biggest army in the world by far and they're not involved in anything um, outside of their borders and they're not killing, they're not having a war internally. We love our military before, in case that never comes across, that uh, we love the boys that actually go out there and fight for us and the, the women that are in the military. We support them 100 percent, 100 percent. As a matter of fact, I mean, your business does an awful lot of contracting with the military. Yes, we do. Yep. You know, in fact, uh, that, that's why we do the ad for you right now. Oh, okay. For, for Bighorn Enterprises. I mean, for you, you talk about all of your construction and and also your transportation, transportation needs. And yeah. All you need to do is call uh, Bighorn Enterprises 451-7310. Here's the thing that I really like about you guys over there is that when you start the project, you see it all the way through the completion. You get it done in less than the time than you bid for, and you come in under bid. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, the, the stuff that I've heard about your business on the outside. I, I do. I check up on the sources here to make sure that I'm not <laughs> dealing with some fly by night. Uh, it, it, you, you guys have a very high reputation over there on base because everything that you guys have undertaken, you've gotten done. You've got it done quicker and with less manpower than they thought was possible. Why is that? Well, I think uh, part of it is because first of all, we try to be moral in our business. When we uh, bid a job, we try to be. Obviously, you have to be competitive. But once we get the job we morally feel that we have a duty and obligation to the person that we got the job from to do our very best, our very utmost, and we like to take pride in it. We always tell people that we deal with that we don't want to tell you what we can do, we want to show you what we can do. And uh, particularly on the military basis, we feel like we're doing a service to our military and to the guys that uh, we're specifically working on housing right now. And given the guys that go over there and protect our rights, our liberties, a little bit better life when they come back, give their families a little bit better place to live when they're overseas, not being able to be at home. At least they can say, well, I know my family's taken care of and they're not living in, in a decrepit piece of <laughs> junk. <laughs> exactly. Now, you also you, you do transportation stuff like up to the big, uh, up to the North Slope. Yeah, we do a lot of uh, hauling for various organizations. Uh, Exxon Mobil right now is their number one that we're doing a lot of hauling for, which is uh, we've been very grateful and very uh, lucky, I guess, to be able to do business with them. That came specifically, we were able to get a employment with them specifically off of our uh, performance. So, so basically what you're telling me here is that you work for big government and big oil. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. That's uh, Bighorn Enterprises. The number to call is uh, 451-7310. If you've got something that you need moved or you got something you need built, give them a call, 451-7310. Uh, while we're on the subject here, also Far North Tactical, uh, and Aaron, and that's, that's your business, and, and you make sure that people are equipped with the stuff that they need to make sure that they take care of the, that well that they can take care of themselves and not have to call out the government to come and save them. Eighty percent of our business is to the military, also over at Far North Tactical, believe it or not. I do believe it. You carry an awful lot of TA50, a lot of gear that uh, the military uses themselves, and you know what things get lost, things get broken. Where do you go to replace it? In the la- and the two weeks before they sh- uh, all went over to Afghanistan, uh, they did about fifty thousand dollars in multicam gear through our store. Now that's stuff that they could have gotten through military supply. Why did they choose you? Um, we're cheaper, actually. Um, a military boy when he gets issued his stuff, um, all those things come out of his uh, paycheck, so he can actually come to our store and get it for about one third the price and. And a lot of times the quality is better because you got to remember that the military's contract went to the lowest bidder. Exactly. And that's that's one of those things that I, I really appreciate, again, about what I see over there at your store, having gone over to Far North Tactical, which is, by the way, at the corner of 8th and Lacey. It's the old Blondie's building. In case anybody doesn't know where it is, you just go down Cushman to 8th, hang a right, and go on until you see the log cabin. There you go. 8th and Lacey, that's Far North Tactical. When you go in there and take a look around in the store, you're going to find an awful lot of gear that if you've ever been in the military, man, you t- it takes you right back. Boom, there you are. You got all the military gear. You also got some stuff that I never saw when I was in the military because I, I, okay, let's, let's face it, I wasn't as high speed as all that. I was, uh, most of my time was spent with And that's the biggest thing is militaries went way more high speed in their gear. The um, 
the load when you were in the military, Steve, would have yeah. been about 45 pounds, yeah. would have been a, a good combat load. And that's been up to somewhere between 85 and 95 pounds. That's what the average Joe in the field is carrying right now. And that's been made possible because of the Moly system. That's the biggest improvement uh, to the guy on the ground that's ever been made, in my, my opinion. And I do want to point out that your store is not a camping store, it's not a hunting store, and it's not a, a paintball store. And we try and carry hunting stuff, but predominantly, if you want to own the same gear that the boys in the field are owning right now, then come on down. I know I shop there all the time. <laughs> all right, there you go. So that's the two sponsors here, Big Horn Enterprises and Far North Tactical. We go back to the phone here, 458 Talk is the number. Good morning, caller. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Who is this? This is Alan. How are you? Alan, I'm good. What's on your mind? Um, previous caller referenced Smedley Butler, a Marine Corps general, and that kind of segues me into my point. Another Marine on May 5th was made the news down in Tucson, Arizona, by getting himself shot 60 times by a team issuing a search warrant. And as you guys talk about rights, I wonder what your thoughts are on search warrants being issued by SWAT teams. Um, his wife saw men outside with guns, woke her husband up, who grabbed his AR, obviously, and was shot dead by so-called police. 60 times. 60 times. Yeah. After and, he actually put his rifle down. And they well, let him lay there and bleeding for over an hour to make sure he died. That's that's exactly right. And then they had two or three different stories come out about who fired first and who did this and who did that and then what they they didn't find any drugs. The end state was he never money. fired any shots. His weapon was still on safe. They came out and said later. So, you know, we can you know the right to religion and speech and all that is important, but the right to life would seem to trump them all and. I wonder if any of these folks, either in Washington or in Juneau, are doing anything about these no-knock warrants. Absolutely not. And, yeah, they are. They've, they're they trying to push for um, they're not having to be warrants for anything anymore. I'm glad you brought this whole thing up because we wanted to talk yeah. about it. Last week, the uh, Supreme Court of Indiana, in their infinite wisdom, who uh, I believe Palenti was the, the guy that wants to be president now, was the... Uh, May have the wrong one, but it's one of those fantastic governors. That, yeah, didn't they just decide that you don't have the right to to, to defend yourself defense against the police? That's right. Your even defense, if, even if they don't have a search warrant, if somebody comes to your door and claims to be police, you must let them in. Yes. Now, what is that? Basically, just opens the door wide open for anybody to just yeah, go out there and buy a uniform. Well, that's, that's ridiculous. I could go down to Far North Tactical, buy a fake badge, and. Go kicking indoors if that were. Hey, I don't sell know. fake badges. <laughs> I know. <I'm laughs> we don't need no stinging fake badges. Mine are laminated and legit. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it correlates with the the same week. The United States Supreme Court ruled on the Fourth Amendment that police do not have to have a search warrant. Basically, they opened it up to if they have any, not even reasonable suspicion, if they have any inkling to walk into your home. They can now do it. Which stems, supposedly. incidentally, kind of ties back into our little hemp discussion that we had earlier. <laughs> I smell marijuana behind that door. They yeah. don't even have to have a reason anymore. Man. That whole case in the Supreme Court, the United States Supreme Court, stemmed from 